So we just left the doctors and we are coming to pick up Indy from daycare because he's staying with us for the weekend. So I want to see where his daycare is. It's downtown Edmonton. What building is this? Okay, where do I go? Left, right? Oh, Little Scholar's Town Care. Oh dear. Oh, got the lights off. Oh How do we get in? I think you press the button. You're having a nap, that's why. Are you guys ready? Oh, in case the kids go out. Okay. Hi, Andy. Oh. Say hi, Nana. I'm gonna push it. Are you you're gonna push it? Well, come push it then. You wanna push it? Can you push it? Is this your daycare? Is this Cindy's daycare? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. yes. <laughs> okay, now push. That one. Can Nana, Nana do it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Wow, well, Nana just the button. Yes, yes Nana pushed the button. Push the button. Oh, Nana pushed the button. Oh. We're going to go this way. Yeah, he, he oh, 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 yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the way. Oh, this way. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. Sorry. You sprung loose from the yeah. joint. Yeah, because you could eat the cars. Yeah, there's lots of cars here. It's, yeah, yeah. It's cars. This is Papa's car. It's Papa's car. See, it's Papa's Papa car. Yeah, Papa car. Yeah, okay. there. Papa. Wait. So I'm out for a walk. Not under the recommendation of Richard or my daughter. They're like, you shouldn't be walking by yourself. Take your cane. Yada yada. But you know what? Sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. And that's, I'm just like, yeah, yeah, I hear you guys, but I'm doing, going for my walk before my meds wear off. So, I thought this would be a great time to give you guys a little bit of an update on what the doctor said. So, um, let's see. There was some really good news and some not so good news. Um, so, I'll start with the not so good news. The not so good news has to do with my trigeminal pain and the fact that it is uh, relentless. It's just, you know, pounding, 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 pounding. So he said, when that happens, it is extremely important to stop that pain cycle. Because as we all know, the brain can relearn things and if we don't interrupt the signals that are coming from the brain, the brain relearns it and realizes or thinks, okay, that's what I'm supposed to be doing. But if you don't shut the signal off, then the brain starts to think that that's my new job and you will have pain forever, no matter what they give you, no matter what they do, it won't ever stop. So, he's upped my seizure medicine because it is like a seizure. You have to shut off the message. Just like when someone has a seizure, it's a message from the brain telling the body to seize. Except I don't have seizures, I have pain. And so, what's been happening to me is like somebody having a seizure that doesn't stop. It's just constant, you know. You can't live like that. So I'm a little out of breath because 
the medication makes me a little bit tired, but I still feel like I want to get some exercise if I can. Anyway, so he said that um, he is not just my doctor. When I have an appointment, I am to call him whenever, email him whenever. He's there for me. He's not leaving me out in the woods to, you know what I mean? And actually that made me cry because it was so like somebody throwing you a life raft. And I felt supported, not alone. Good news though, really, really good news. The Holter monitor came back perfect, perfect heart. The, my uh, cholesterol, and I quote the doctor, you have the cholesterol of the gods. Come on. I was so happy because I felt like, yay, I have something good. And then he showed Richard and I my brain imaging and he said, it doesn't appear like you've had any major stroke or anything or even a minor one in the back of the brain where he thought I had. He said, if I did, it was so small. He can't, it, it's not visible because you're looking for something the size of a pinhead. He showed us two tiny little bleeds that were on it before, which is why he thought that so those were already on there. And uh, that was from lupus. And he said, no matter what you do, no matter what you, oh, it's never gonna change. That won't change. That's just the way it is. You have lupus. And then he said, with this brain, can get this pain sorted and I start exercising like now I'm starting to see I'm starting to stutter step which is from my surgery but whatever but he said what he noticed that was so awesome at the frontal part of your brain across here it atrophies as you get older and those are the signs they see in somebody if it's really atrophied then they know they're starting dementia and all of that. He said there was not one ounce of atrophy in my brain. And then he looked at me and he says, do you drink? I said, no. He said, it is so obvious because alcohol, even in just somebody that's a regular occasional drinker, atrophies the brain over time. And so at my age, it should have some atrophy. And what was so wonderful about that is knowing that my mom has dementia. And he said, mm -hmm. in my medical opinion, I don't think that's going to be your story. Not from looking at this brain. And he told me to be very creative, learn a second language. I said, I already speak French. He goes, learn a third language, play the piano. Um, you know, do all those things to get the brain working even harder so that it stays like it is. So those were wonderful, wonderful things to hear, I tell you. So yeah, I'm back home. So that's my story, Morning Glory. When you're taking medication and you try to exercise and your body's saying, lay down, lay down, lay down, lay down. But I want to keep my body, now that I know it's healthy, something about knowing that. When they tell you your heart is great, you know, your brain is great. This is something about that. You want to keep it that way, you know. So, yes, the pain is horrendous. He was even saying that, you know, way back in the day he said people would take a gun and just shoot themselves in the head because that pain trigeminal pain is that bad 
And he goes, I'm so, so sorry that you have to deal with this. And then I just thought, while I was in the shower, I thought, you know what, I'm strong. I can do this. I got this. You know, I am strong. And I, I was saying to Richard through my tears, I was like, just going to deal with one moment at a time. Just one moment. And you know, Indy's here for the weekend. Thank God for my husband. Because he, we all call him the baby whisperer. He's amazing with babies. And Indy just thinks he is a rock star, you know. So I've been laying in bed reading books to him and chit-chatting with him, but any of his care I can't do, so yeah. Anyway, back home now, and I'm just gonna go rest and read a book. Well, just at the end of our street is a green little top knot, which is perfect for children. Yeah, Fitz is over there, he's fine. Do you want me to push you? No. No? Are you good? Yeah, I'm gonna swing. Do you want me to push the swing? I'll go push it. Okay, here we go. Ready? Yeah. Okay. Hold on. Okay. I'll give you a good push. Wee! Is that a good push? Is that a good push, Indy? I got a push. Good push? Where's your rock? Where's your rock? Show me your rock that you had to have. Yeah, the rock. There it is. <laughs> He's not a fan of the slide. You want to do it again? Yeah, I get that one. You want to do it again? Yeah. Get ready, here we go. Fit ready? stop. <laughs> here comes Indy. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, go. Whee! <laughs> oh, twinkle. Let Indy do it. Okay, go ahead. Indy, go. Twinkle, 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 twinkle. I wonder the key. Ah, ah, ah. Up, up. Up, up, up. Oh, I died. Yeah, I died. Diamond. In the key. Twinkle, twinkle. to do? Yeah. What do you do? Yeah. You blow. Blow this one. Not like that. Watch Nana. Look at Nana. Oh, you do it. That's a flower. It is a flower, but you blow. Good job. Let's go on Okay, we'll go on our walk. And throw your walk away. And let's get busy. That's all he wants to do. That's right. Do another one like that? Look at these here. Are you cute, Indy? Hold them, hold them. Hey, where are you going? We're teaching Peppa and George, tucking Peppa and George into bed. Il est une fois maman cochon et papa cochon qui bordait Peppa et George dans le lit. So, disclaimer, I tried, well, I tried, I did. I blew, blow dried my hair this morning just to see how long it was getting. And so there's no style at all. Just blow dried it just to see. 
And I also want to say, I'm feeling better. Oh my goodness. I've got my fingers cr crossed, my toes crossed. This morning I finally woke up and I can actually talk without getting z z pains through my face. I mean, it's still kind of there, but that increase in the tegretol or carbamazepine, whatever you know it as, has certainly made a difference. I say it cautious, you know how you say it cautiously, but I'm pretty certain it has. It makes me still very, very sleepy and drowsy. Oopsie. But I'm hoping that's a side effect that will just wear off and I can get back to my normal life of pain. <laughs> you know what I mean, my normal life, because uh, I feel like I have lost a good 10 days out of my life just in the suffering. I don't like being, nor does anyone, being in the suffering mode. It's one thing to know that you have a chronic pain, but I don't want to be suffering, you know? So today I'm still going to take it a little easy. I'm not going to get all cute and think I can do everything. We had our stitch club tonight. It was supposed to be here. I postponed it, not just because of me, but because it was the first day of school for everybody here in um, Canada. And uh, so lots of the mummies that come to our group, they had their kids' first day of school, so I'm sure they want to be home their first night, you know? And, um, yeah. And because I didn't feel great and other reasons and some people had different issues, you know. So I thought, let's just postpone it a week. So, excuse me, I think I'm going to finish reading my book, which is really good. So far, it's a five star. So good. And it's not suspenseful where you turn the pages like, you know, oh, what's going to happen next? But she is such a good storyteller that you just want her to keep going and going and going with this story and the food and the the taste and uh, what's that Korean food? Is it kimchi? Kimchi? But she talks a lot about that and... Um, and the cabbage and how it smells and the barley soups and you know it's just yummy yummy not like these but yummy so anyway i'm gonna go finish reading that and see what the day brings so yeah i spoke too soon i just went for a walk and to try to relieve the pain it's getting keep telling myself. So yeah, I spoke too soon. I just went for a walk and to try to relieve the pain. It's getting better. I keep telling myself. So I'm off on a walk and I have to sneak out from Fitz. He's hilarious. If he hears the jingle of the keys, or if he hears me, he goes start craving crazy. So I have to go this way today because he's outside. Put a little makeup on the old face. Makes the person feel a little bit better. It's a beautiful day. So let's see if we got anything in the mail. From my walk and I having my, um, what do you call that? What do you call the pop maker? You guys know. What's this thing called? I forget. But you know what I mean. The pot maker, it'll soda stream. That's what it is. I made some diet cola. I want to show you guys something funny. I love remnants of when the kids were here. Oh, like Indy. Peppa Pig, he calls her, he says, how does he say it? Peppa Pig? No, it's like, Peppa Pig. I can't say it like him with the same intonation, but it's so cute. It's a little bit of Peppa Pig on my piano. And I walked by the mailbox. And this is good for your endorphins. I got my darn good yarn um, in the mail. And I'm saving all of these thin yarns that I get. And I'm going to make one big giant 
blanket or something out of it. So pretty. This is silk, and they usually are all silk. So it's a sport weight silk yarn. It didn't come with a pattern, but it came with some pretty buttons. So that's nice. My face is starting to hurt. Ugh. And then my um, Fab Fit Fun Box came. So I'm going to open that up right now. Ooh, a yumminess. It always has a bit of a magazine and it explains to you what's in your box usually. Yeah, so it's got a whole lot what's in the box. So we'll see what's in my box. I'll leave that right there. An ad for some bars and share the fun. And it's autumnal because look at that. That's already fun. Ooh, there's a lot of stuff in here. Look at all this yumminess. It's the box is heavy, and I was wondering why. I think it's this thing right here. It's a ceramic and stainless steel uh, teapot. Um, hello. Okay, I'm just gonna show you, and then I'll open them so I don't have to talk too too much. Glam glow bubble sheet. These are uh, masks. It's about the cleansing one. Ooh, a Luna bar. I love Luna bars. Another mask. This is another deep, is this the same thing? Deep cleansing and this one's oxygenating. What is this? Blue in Capri shower gel. Oh my God, I bet this smells like heaven. Richard is not using this. Not, N-O-T, capital, okay? has a really mild scent. It's almost like an oil. With notes of alpine rose, sage, wild basil, and autumn blossom. Mmm, it's just really a mild, not a papau one. I usually like the papau ones, but I'm sure this is lovely once it gets under the water. Let's close it up here. Oh, no way. Wireless Bluetooth headsets? Are you kidding me right now? Okay, I'll open them after. I'm so excited. My heart is like, this is a yoga detox bath. Relaxing soak ritual. You guys know this is right up my alley. All of this stuff is. I mean, come on. This looks like some kind of a wrap or something. What does it say? Oh, it's a towel. Hmm, simply whimsical. What is this? Vince Camudo, and it feels like it might be a bag. So I'll open all this stuff up again when I, like I said, in a minute. Grown Alchemist Hydro Repair Date Cream, Camellia Geranium Blossom. Cream for it, so it's a moisturizer. This is all like, hello, Monica, let's make you a box. How do you know? And then a beauty blender, which I love these. And beauty blender is the best. So let me go and open this up and I'll be right back. My pain is creeping in, but my endorphins are higher because I'm really excited about all this stuff and then at the exact same time my sweet daughter-in-law Shannon just texts me she is just oh something else like oh my god but anyways my teapot oh my god look at this I told you this box is like for Monica look at it it's like one cup of tea but how pretty and a diffuser inside that sits inside the pot. Oh my goodness, for my afternoon tea that I have on a daily basis, how pretty is this? This is just plain prettiness. And then of course my uh, Blue in Capri shower gel. And then the two, oops, sorry, the two masks from Glam Glow right here. I'm not going to use them on my skin just yet because my lupus seems to have 
Yeah, I'm just not. I think it's not settled yet. And then look at the vegan leather bag. Look at this. Look at this straight the vegan leather. Is that not cute? So cute. Okay. Can I say I love this Fab Fit box? So thrilled with everything that I got because it is so personally perfect for me. And then my darn good yarn comes. Everything on the same day and then Shannon texts me. Wow, I feel so special and spoiled. And that's really a nice feeling when you don't feel good. So yay, what a fun day I'm gonna go. I'm going to go set up the Bluetooth on my uh, headsets and groove on out, man. And then be quiet for the next little while before I start a flaming fury in the side of my face. You know, there is the option of deadening the nerve on that side of the face, but I get it on both sides. And my neurosurgeon said, you just don't, you can't have a deadened entire face because it would be the whole face. I wouldn't feel if something was in my eye. I wouldn't feel if I bit my tongue or burnt my tongue. I would, wouldn't feel my grandkids kisses. I would feel nothing from my neck up. So yeah, we're not there yet. Well, maybe on this side, but let's just hope that this uh, medication adjustment will do the trick and I'll just try to keep myself the healthiest I can be by walking every day. I don't have to be jogging on the treadmill or I always tend to do too much. A walk around our crescent is like about a quarter of a mile, I think. Perfect. Just exercise and try to be well spiritually and mentally and keep your um, thoughts positive. And all this stuff, really made me feel positive. I'm not gonna lie, I love prezies, you know? Like who doesn't? This came at the perfect time. So anyway, I'm going to let you guys all go. Thank you so much for watching. I'm not sure what kind of vlog this was, although we did have Sweet Indy, and he's a sweetie pie and lifts your spirits even though I can't do much with him. But it was a nice weekend, not weekend nonetheless. So thank you for watching. I love you guys for hanging in there with me. And even if it's not that interesting. But anyway, we'll see you all next week. Bye.